Hi guys, it's Jasmine here from The Journey of J. Louise. And to extend on to my Scorpio Moon video, I wanted to add another part called Coping Mechanisms. Um, you know, in that video, I talked about a lot of the different ways that we can react negatively towards situations and, um, you know, just how negatively sometimes we can express our feelings. And then I went on to say a couple of good things like uh, such as journaling, but I wanted to kind of expand on, um, you know, just kind of like being honest and um, just saying what it is like, you know. So, um, you know, some unhealthy coping mechanisms can be sex, you know, I feel like as a Scorpio moon, it's very easy for us to use that as a way to feel, you know, to like openly express ourselves because, you know, I've heard a lot sexual energy is creative energy. And I, I truly believe that because, you know, sometimes when I'm even in my creative space, I feel like I have to release in a sexual way and I feel better, you know, like sometimes when I'm like stuck in my head and I don't know what to paint or I don't know what to draw, I'll turn to that in a way. And I remember some, I remember at one point I said this to a guy I was like dealing with, I was like, I don't know, sometimes I just be feeling like I need to do it, you know, but like I'm learning that, you know, even that can be unhealthy and um, it's just like you have to have those boundaries, I guess I want to say. and. Also, uh, like as I'm evolving and becoming more aware of myself, I think that um, sharing that energy because it's so precious, you know, like, yes, it can be a release for us, but you have to remember that you're connecting with someone else like, you know, you're taking on their energy. And sometimes it's not always the best energy to take on, you know, so it's like, um, I don't know, it's, it's, I'm just very selective about like who I give that part of me to you know because like even as a like as a woman it like it's our jewel you know like it's it's not like like it's not like I was out here hoeing or anything but I feel like you know if I had found like the person I was you know partnered to have sex with or to release in that way I feel like sometimes despite what was going on in our relationship I still did it, you know, and it's like, I'm learning that you got to conserve that, you know, like, find a different outlet, you know, like, I was saying in the other video, like, sexual energy is creative energy. So you can draw, you can paint, you can write, you can do anything creative, cook, like, be creative about it, like, you know, um, do something that relaxes you something that you feel like gives you a burst of energy or some joy and set like be um this is another thing i feel like we can be very erratic and a way to cope with that i think is setting a schedule um now this can also be my the aquarius in me definitely coming in where i overthink things sometimes and i think i just like kind of go with the flow of life in a way and um i'm just trying to wait for my capricorn rising to kick in and tell me bitch get your life together um so yeah i'm, I'm in a process of like really scheduling my life out and like just being more disciplined you know like having a discipline like mentally physically like emotionally spiritually just like getting your life in order you know what i'm saying so that when you step outside of it it's not so easy to do you know you notice it more and it becomes like m more of a big deal like you know i feel like sometimes we can be so erratic at times where it's just like oh uh, like you know it's just me like i catch myself all the time sometimes saying well that's just me being jasmine and i mean yes it is but at the same time it's not something that i want to continue you know i like to be more disciplined because i feel like you know like being i'm, I'm having emotional intelligence is a skill <clears throat> excuse me and as an entrepreneur that's a skill that I have to learn you know I, I gotta be able to be in different rooms with people and they may not like me you know like they or they may not like I might not enjoy working with them or things like that you know it's like I have to learn how to take certain things and I feel 
like professionally, I do know how to separate the two, but I, I have been in situations where even then, you know, I feel like sometimes I can react emotionally when I shouldn't, you know, like running my mouth and saying exactly what's on my mind, which is something I don't want to change about myself. But the way you say things and your approach to situations has a lot to do with how you are in life and how far you will go, you know, like learning how to deal with emotions learning when to pick your battles that's 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 how i want to put it you know learning when to pick your battles you know because you want to win the war winning one battle doesn't mean much you know what i'm saying in the civil war the south won some battles but they lost in the end you know what i'm saying choose which battles are most important so that you can win the bigger picture you know think of it overall and not just the small details of right now i'm feeling like this so i'm gonna do whatever i want you know it doesn't help you know in the long run um another coping mechanism i could say is drugs like addictions i feel like we can be prone to addiction and i've seen this because i've i got scorpios in my life you know sun sign scorpios so you know i feel like on like the sun side side the, the sun side the sun sign side of things <laughs> <laughs> Jesus on the sun sign side of things it's like in your face you know because your sun sign is it's what people see you know versus like my moon sign is like what the closest people see to me you know what I do behind closed doors like when I'm comfortable I don't allow everyone to see these sides of me you know people can look on the outside and think oh she got her shit together you know she's not this she's not that but you know internally I'm I'm like I, I can be a mess I can be a complete mess but yes I feel like Scorpios can definitely be more prone to addictions because of the whole like feeling so deeply so you know we run to different things that allow us to escape and that's you know the main overall thing with addiction with addiction is escapism you know it's like um weed and al alcohol and things like that you know at one point i was like kind of doing that like consuming myself with these things you know and it was like you know I knew like I could even like feel it in my body that it was like not healthy you know it was like changing my health and I'm like cuz I'm, I'm over consuming things and I'm so tiny you know I'm, I'm a small person so it doesn't take much for me to you know be high or be drunk or whatever like you know so you know it was just like you know I feel like and I've, I've heard I've seen someone else talk about this in another Scorpio moon video it's like sometimes we can get to a point where we just self-destruct you know like self-sabotage is definitely a trait of Scorpios and um, you know that is something that we definitely you have to like be careful about you know learn to run to more healthy things like you know like I literally I drink um, wine now occasionally and I still have a problem with like um, drinking in general like I don't smoke at all like I just don't like the feeling of being high I feel like it like I just think too much sometimes and like I don't know it just I don't like how I feel but um, yeah like even with drinking I think like right now I feel like I'm more of a social drinker but I'm still I'm so small so it's like sometimes I don't know my limit and when I'm with when I'm around people I just keep drinking you know it's like at that point when I'm drunk I forget that I'm drunk and everything tastes like juice so I'm just woo, you know so I'm learning to cut that down as well and learning to like pay attention to my limit you know because I don't want to just be out here looking crazy you know like I'm not crazy but you know I just don't want that effects like alcohol poisoning and stuff like that like that's real and it messes with your body you know just because you not paying attention to what your body needs and how much you can take you know like that's a real thing so um yeah um drugs like um i don't have much experience with that i could just say like marijuana and stuff like that but that's definitely escapism you know pills i know people do pills and all of that and it's like you really have to think back you have to think about like why am i doing this you know like you know like clearly you don't want to be sober you know you're trying to feel something other than how you feel normally and you gotta really excuse me you gotta really think about that i understand like being in party mode sometimes but you gotta like think about how often are you in party mode like you know and is it are you before you do it are you thinking thoughts of am i doing this to get away from something like my number one thing 
like my number one theme is always check yourself like I'm learning that you really have to listen to yourself like when people say that everything is within you like God is within you he truly is like there's nothing outside of yourself like your spirit like he is a spirit like so he's within you so it's like you have to really listen and you can't like that's why it's it's important to be sober minded because how can you listen if you if you like taint it you know what i'm saying you letting your inhibitions and your body work in a way that like you know just more loosely and not really caring but it's not the real you you know like you can't really decipher between those voices like is it just my physical telling me which is the base level of who you are or is it my soul is it my spirit telling me you know like your intuition in general is less heightened when you're not sober so that's another thing that you don't want to like you just it, it just it, it toxifies you and you don't want that um what's another thing i want to say um those are my two main ones is like sex and drugs um other people also can definitely be addictions i feel like sometimes like you want someone there because you don't want to face yourself i feel like at times i become addicted to like like having someone around like you know kind of like scared of being alone because i don't want to face myself you know because it's like i don't want to have to deal with my emotions or if i do I want to deal it I want to go through it with someone else you know it's like so they'll make me feel better about it and I don't really have to feel the weight of it you know or I'm trying to put it on someone else so that we can feel it together like share the share my sadness my depression with me and it's like I mean it's nothing wrong with it, like um talking it out you know therapy is good but you know no one can heal for you you know like people can help you but you have to heal yourself like you know that's it's hard like you know I seen a quote the other day where it was like sometimes healing hurts like more than the actual wound and it made me think of like I had gotten a scar on my knee on New Year's from fighting and um, I don't even like I was drunk when it happened so I literally didn't even remember how it happened none of that so like you know it didn't even really hurt un to me until like the healing process of like you know putting alcohol on it and just like you know how like when it's like putting a band-aid and just feeling it like do whatever it do the blood pump into it that shit hurt so i'm like damn like i totally understood that quote like healing sometimes feels worse because sometimes when you're being damaged you don't really realize it you know what i'm saying like relationships or whatever traumas happen to your life you don't realize how much is damaging you until you like really look back and like damn this part of me is all fucked up that part of me is all fucked up it's like what the hell like i gotta repair all this shit like a car you know what i'm saying you drive in your car you forget to put oil on it you don't change you don't rotate your tires you just like you take it to the shop and they like what the hell have you been doing? You just been driving it. You ain't even been thinking about the dang on car. This wrong with it, this wrong with it, this one. You need some new oil, you need some transmission fluid, you need all of this stuff. And you just looking like, are you serious? Like it's gonna cost me more now because I didn't take care of myself during the process of it. I just went along with life, you know, just floating here and there. And it's like, don't excuse me, don't do that. You know, pay attention, listen to yourself, like you listen to your car to make something last longer excuse me to make something last longer you have to pay attention to it you have to take care of it just like a child you don't just let a child raise itself you make sure from its head to its toe spiritually physically emotionally you want to make sure that child is taken care of and knows that it is loved you know if it doesn't happen nobody's gonna blame that child i mean when it when it becomes an adult yes um or when he or she becomes an adult yes you know they do have a responsibility on repairing that but they're going to always look back to their childhood and say, this is why I'm this way. They're going to resent you because you didn't take care of me the way you should have, you know? So, yeah. Um, I think that's a good place to end it because I don't want this video to be super long. So, um, yeah. Uh, 
if you want to know how I did this look, I actually, I did this look for this video because I'm like, you know, Scorpios, we're so like dark and mysterious and you know what I'm saying? And I'm a Scorpio moon, so I don't claim to be a Scorpio sun or anything like that. I'm an Aquarius sun, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm loving the purple in my eyes because the purple is our color too, you know? So yeah, like. I love being Aquarius, you know I'm saying, but um, yeah, like my Scorpio moon is definitely heavy. Like I have like a um higher degrees, like twenty six seven degrees or something like that. I don't really know what that means, but um, all I know is I can feel that shit, hella. You know, it's like the Aquarius is in my life. I feel like I'm so different from them in certain ways. You know, it's like yeah so and and learning that about myself i'm like it makes sense like you know like i fit in so well in that category like behind closed doors because like i said sun sign when people see me yeah they think i'm oh she's carefree she's this and she's that you know but even like i feel like even like with people like that i meet and stuff like that i still can come off very scorpio-ish you know like mysterious and like you know what i'm saying like people consider me interesting just from not even seeing me i feel like a scorpio is mysterious like you know you like you see them even when they're not trying to be seen and i feel like i've had people say that to me so i don't know like i feel like i exude both energies you know but i definitely am aquarius through and through so like i said before don't ever try to think that i'm not like trying to rub my sign because i love my aqua i'm an aqua my baby's out there you know what i'm saying i'm gonna make a video for us but this is just me talking about scorpio moon because i just feel it so freaking much you know and yeah i am like coming out of a like a rebirth or not coming out of but i'm going like i'm in a rebirth right now so like you know i'm just really feeling that energy more than anything at this point in my life like you know i'm in hermit mode so i'm not really out you know i guess we all are in kind of hermit mode right now because of the coronavirus and things like that but you know like people are still going out i still see like like my friends still go out to certain places and stuff and i'm just kind of like i'm chilling you know like you know even like some friends that i talked to before like i've cut like people off like i don't really want your energy right now because i'm i'm conserving and just rebirthing and figuring out what do i want out of life like where am i going like i have to move differently and to do that i have to analyze i have to change i have to make improvements i have to learn how to listen to myself you know like take the time to actually see like what's going on like schedule time for myself so yeah um i love you guys um comment like subscribe um i'm gonna be doing more videos i'm gonna try to be more consistent like a video a week or something like that maybe two videos because i'm gonna be posting two videos with the whole get ready with me and all of that and um yeah i'm just i'm excited to be a part of a community of people that like aren't afraid to go into this type of thing and like you know are just trying to figure out who they are and like find people who relate to them you know and see how their experiences match up like you know like we squad out here you feel me like yeah <laughs> all right bye guys Mwah.